Winning the award was pretty exciting. Having my name called out at the summit was something that I wasn't quite expecting. Um, I always get a little bit nervous um, thinking that, you know, really, you know, why me? Why me? So it was all very exciting and it happened pretty quickly and you come up on the stage and have your photos taken and, and it's all a bit rah-rah. And um, so that was a little exciting. Last year we developed a marketing strategy which included a higher social media profile and so then winning the award was something that we were able to showcase through a variety of platforms, whether it was Facebook, LinkedIn, through our website and that drove a lot of traffic as well as a lot of interest, support, recognition. It gave my existing clients an opportunity to feel like they were part of something, of the journey with me. So the award was not an award for Esther, it was an award for perspective, it was an award for, for my clients. And what I think contributed to it is probably the whole journey. Um, my pathway into advising, which wasn't easy, I was going through some personal life changes, I had gotten divorced, I was raising three little girls on my own, and I was persistent and determined that this was a profession that I was going to succeed in. There was no choice about it. And ultimately, every step of my career has come from that foundation, and I've built on it, built on it, um, maintained my education, continued my education, even beyond the what was required of us, I made sure that you know, I was always one step ahead with the education. Um, I was active in the advice community and my community in general. And uh, I think that really ultimately what may have put me forward is the whole story that led ultimately up to my nomination and subsequent winning. Entering award is not necessarily about winning the award. There is a journey. Every award that I've ever participated in has taken me on a journey that has made me look at myself. It's made me look at my practices and really take time to focus on things that I may not give any attention to. As far as winning awards are concerned, look, we all really want to win an award. That's, that's the bottom line, but there can only ever be one winner. Having said that, these awards are very subjective and at the end of the day, no one has lived our lives, no one has lived the journey that we're on and who are we really competing with? I'd like to think that my biggest competitor is really myself and if I can year on, year on, look back at the previous year and answer myself honestly that I did better this year than I did last year, then I've won my own little personal award. Obviously it's nice to win recognition from your peers but at the same time, the uh, process of going through the award will it undoubtedly set you apart anyway and set you up for your next year to be very successful. My professional plan is to keep growing the business and get the business really into a top-notch shape. And um, there's a lot of things that I've cruised through over the last 15 years, but now I'm coming to an age where I realise that this is really it, if I want to make my business the best value that it can be so that ultimately I can achieve my goal is I've got to really pay a lot of attention to changing my business and focusing on things that really um, need to be addressed. It's no, not, no time for cruising anymore. This, you know, things have to really get nutted down perfectly or almost perfectly. Uh, on a personal perspective, I'm now at the stage where my children are almost independent they're leaving me, they're leaving home. I feel a tiny bit sad about it, but I'm also very excited that I've managed to bring them up in a way that they can navigate the world, be resilient and make choices with their lives that hopefully will have very good consequences and outcomes for them. And that will free up a little bit of my time to focus more on the business and start doing some of the things that I used to say I'd do when the kids were younger. I'd say that I'd do when they got older. Well, now that I'm at that stage, try to remember what some of those things were and actually pursue them.